Today we're gonna dig a tunnel in that mountain and change the color. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find all my work on Instagram at the screen in front of you. And today I'm really excited for this tutorial because it's gonna be like very easy and we'll have a very nice product. I'll start by dragging our first photo. I'll make sure I'll close my timeline. And I'll press F just to get a bigger screen. Okay, now first thing I wanna do, I'll just adjust the proportions of this. I want like Press Ctrl and R to get the ruler. Then I'm gonna drag it to the middle just to know where exactly my middle is. Then I'm gonna crop this photo from that side so that the middle part is not like uh, is aligned with the mountain. Okay, I'll do something like that. Then I'll press OK. Okay, now let's see where our middle is. Now it's exactly like on top of the mount. Okay, just get rid of this ruler. Okay, now what I want to do is I'll grab my other photo, this one, and I'll move it below. And I'll just, for now, I'll, I'll unlock the background and I'll put this one below. Okay, now I'm going to make my selection. I'll use the, like, the lasso tool. And I'll have a feather of 5 pixels. Then I'm just gonna make some sort of a rough selection like this. This is where like the mountain will be digged. Something like that. Just like make variation with it. You can play with it also. And I'll make this. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press layer mask. It will do the opposite of what I want. So I'm gonna stand on my layer mask and press control and I. This will invert my selection. Now I see my photo below. Okay, like that, like this is looking good. Okay, I want to add some interest to it. So on the layer mask, I'm going to take again my lasso. I'm going to make some sort of spikes, something like that. And maybe some like variation. Yeah, something like that. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to paint with white in these areas. Now it created some sort of like spike. Okay, now like they look like totally opposite of course, the colors is so, are so different. So what I want to do, I want to make them all blue. So first I'll start with this layer, I'll go to hue and saturation. I'll make sure I link it below. And then I'm just gonna move it all the way till it's somewhere like close to blue. Yeah, something like that. But then we still have some green areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new hue and saturation layer, link it, and then I'm gonna go to my, this is like cyan. If you have difficulty like determining what color is this one, just press this hand tool and press on the color. You see, it will give you a range of the color. Now I'm gonna drag this range a little bit to the green, so I'm also targeting the greens, and I'm gonna move it more to the blue. This is like, now we're in the magenta. Magenta is after the blue. So somewhere here is where our blue is. Okay, now we're done with the top part. Let's work on our lower part. Let's go the same to the hue and saturation. And let's just go until it's blue. Yeah, this is blue. But obviously you see like a lot of difference between this one and that one. And this is not because of the hue actually, it's because of the saturation. This one is too saturated, this one is not. So if I bring my saturation down, now they are more blended together. If you see this color here at the light, is the same as that one at the light. Okay, now we're somehow good. I just want, I see some people in the photo. This one, I need to get rid of them. I'll go to the clone stamp tool. And I'll just hold Alt, press click, and I'll just clone stamp this area. And this also, I'll Alt click and clone stamp this area. And I don't know what this is actually, it came with the photo. I'll Alt click and just remove that area as well. Okay, now we're good. The final thing, I'm going to add my moon. 
to the photo. You see the mistake I did here? I added the moon in between the two layers. So when I move it up, these two are now unlinked. They are like targeting all the layers below. So I'm gonna hold Alt and link them back again to this to this layer. Okay, now the moon of course have the black around it. I can make something like this, press and just layer mask it. So I can like have smaller area. Then I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen. What screen does, it removes all the black. Now I want to make the moon a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll flip it. I don't know. I like it like from left to right more because we read from left to right. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'll reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, now we're good. The final thing I want to do is I'll add a curves adjustment layer. Pull up the, the like the black points, pull down the shadows and make it even more contrasty by pulling the highlights more. Okay, then I'm going to add a brightness and contrast layer. I'm going to increase the brightness a lot. Then I'm going to stand on the layer mask, press Ctrl and I. This will add black to my layer mask, making it invisible. Now I can take my brush with a white color and press a click here and a click here. Now I brightened up these two parts because the moon should be brighter and the light torch also should be brighter. Again, I'm going to add a brightness and contrast and now I'm going to reduce the brightness. Now it's dark. But I won't, don't want the darkness to be affecting some areas. So with a black brush, I'm going to press one click here and one click here. Now we have these two areas brighter. Then I'm going to hold Control Alt Shift, then press E. What this does is it creates a layer of everything we did on a new separate layer. So we can go to filter, camera raw filter. And I'll just increase the brightness of everything a little bit maybe some contrast i'll add clarity so everything is more clear then i'll go to my fx module and i'm gonna add a little bit of vignette and we're done thank you for listening to the tutorial and make sure you subscribe and like this if you like the video